Hello, lovely people. Happy Friday, Fry Yay. Tomorrow is the first official day of fall, the autumn equinox. The equinox happens once in the fall and once in the spring, and it marks the only days where there is nearly the same amount of daylight and darkness at all latitudes. I'm Coy, this is CNN 10, and on this penultimate day of fall, let's tackle today's headlines. We start with a troubling new study out of Stanford University where researchers found that wildfire smoke is undoing progress toward cleaner air across America. Air pollution from wildfire smoke can spread for miles, like this summer when smoke from Canada drifted into the U.S., turning skies in New York City yellow. And wildfire smoke is a type of particle pollution, or PM 2.5, because the particulates are so tiny they can sneak past our body's natural defenses and get into our system. If they get into your lungs and bloodstream, they could trigger asthma attacks or even heart attacks in some people. And long-term exposure can lead to deadly diseases taking months or even years off of your life. PM 2.5 had become less concentrated in recent decades thanks to air quality improvement measures, but this new study shows that progress has been slowed or even reversed in 35 states because of wildfire smoke. Here's CNN's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, with more. Look around you. Take a breath. What do you notice? It's hard to imagine, but even air that looks and feels clean could still be harmful. Air pollution is when anything, chemical, physical, or biological, changes the atmosphere. Now, the main culprit of air pollution has long been fossil fuels, but wildfires, like the ones that we've been seeing a lot of lately, are increasingly impacting our air quality. In fact, as things stand now, according to the World Health Organization, nearly all of us breathe air that is polluted. What you might notice, again, even if the air seems okay, are symptoms like eye, nose, or throat irritation, wheezing, <coughs> coughing, headaches, fatigue, dizziness. And one type of air pollution called particle pollution, or PM 2.5, can be especially dangerous, and that's because of how tiny the particles are. These particles can be 1 20th the width of a human hair, which means they can travel past your body's usual defenses. Now, I know you hear this, and a lot of this might worry you, but there are also ways that you can protect yourself. First of all, just like you might check the weather before you leave the house, you should also check your air quality. In fact, many countries now have tools where they monitor the air quality index, something known as AQI. The United Nations also has a live air pollution exposure calculator. So when the air quality is bad, you know that you should start staying indoors if you can. If you do have to go outside, try to do activities where you're not breathing as hard. Go for a walk instead of a run. Be extra careful when it's hot outside, as higher temperatures can increase particle pollution. But the big picture for all of us, pay attention to the air around you. 10 second trivia. Which of these pro sports leagues has the biggest viewership? Major League Baseball, National Basketball Association, National Football League, or Major League Soccer? If you said NFL, put your hands up. 82 of the top 100 most watched TV programs last year were NFL games. Today we are introducing a new segment where we learn lessons from a leader. We're flying with the Atlanta Falcons and Grady Jarrett today. He's a two-time pro bowler on the field and a shining light in the community as well. He's sharing some of his secrets to success that can help all of us no matter what career path we may pursue. Hello, lovely people. We're here at the home of the Atlanta Falcons with the heartbeat and leader of the team, Grady Jarrett. He has worked himself into being a pro bowler and one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. Thanks for spending some time yes, with our CNN 10 family today, sharing some tips and tactics for achieving success Absolutely. in life. What inspires you, Grady? What motivates you? Man, really, you know, especially at this point, man, just being the best I can be, you know, and then that's in whatever aspect. Anything I decide to get involved in, I want to be the best that I can be. And I feel like if I'm the best that I can be, I can be one of the best to do it. So, I mean, as a player, you know, going out, emptying the tank every day, putting in the work, whether it's physical, mental, you know, on the recovery side of things, just doing the things that's when it's time to go, I'm ready to go. Now, things in life rarely go straight. Yep. How important do you think adversity is mm -hmm. in shaping us as people? Man, uh, 
adversity is, adversity is inevitable. You know, it's going to come, but it's how you handle it. You know, um, when things get hard, that shows your true character. You know, it's easy for you to um, be excited when things are going your way, when you know the outcome is going to be good in your favor. You just got to be ready for when adversity comes and uh, keep conquering and keep conquering. That's what mm -hmm. life is about. Now, for the athletes out there who may be going through some tough times, maybe yeah. facing a setback, an injury, a big loss, mm -hmm. what advice would you have for them? At the end of the day, all you can do is uh, control where you're at right now and give your best foot forward every day, you know what I'm saying? So when you do overcome whatever you're going through, whether it's an injury and you miss some time, now you're back on the field, now you can appreciate them hard days when they come and you don't take it for granted because you know what it's like to not have it. I think sometimes people, we so hard on ourselves, like thinking, you know, we should always feel happy, it's always should feel happy, always supposed to be good. But it's okay to be, you know, down sometimes, sad. Like, that don't make you a weak person. That don't make, uh, or like, it's something wrong with you or something like that. Like, you're human. But at the end of the day, those time makes our, our higher times better, you know? Because mm -hmm. you got to know, like, you know, pain is inevitable. Uh, things not going your way is inevitable. But it's always about how you react to it and overcome it, you know? You got to have that undeniable, unstoppable mm -hmm. mindset. That is such a powerful point especially in today's world of social media when yeah. you look and you're scrolling through these feeds yeah, and, you and all you think see is everybody highlights look and feel happy all the time that's mm -hmm. not real life yeah it's not real life and that's okay that it's not real life you know what i'm saying is it just i think when you look at it like um it's okay not for everything to be okay, okay. you know and then you won't be as hard as yourself or like feeling like, you know, maybe you're getting so far left behind in life doing certain things or you got to run, you got to run your race at, at your pace. Now, for those folks out there who are striving to be great, is there a motto or mantra that you've learned along the way that helps drive you towards your full potential? I want to do what I can while I can. So when I cannot, I will not wish I would have when I could have. And all that mean to me is just don't have any regrets. All right, one big lesson I'm reminded of by Grady is no matter how famous or successful you get, stay humble, stay hungry, never get too big for your britches. Keep shining, Grady. Thanks Thank for you, spending man. time with our Thanks. CNN 10 tribe today. I'm Coy Wire. And I'm Grady Jarrett. And we are CNN, CNN 10. 10. Today's story getting a 10 out of 10, a tale of mischief. A lemur tail, high tailing it from the popo. -po. And this lemur, he likes to move it, move it. Look at him go. Leading police on a chase in Springfield, Missouri. It was probably thinking, lemur alone, dudes, I'm finally free. Its owners reported that it escaped. And with the help of two bystanders and a towel, the cops finally caught the ring-tailed runaway. No prob lemur. They turned it over to a wildlife rescue agency. A real life emergency averted. Today's shout out goes to it's Orby, the owl, and the rest of the Brooklyn Prospect Charter School in Brooklyn, New York. We hope you and everyone watching around the world have an awesome weekend. I'm Koi Wire, and remember, you are more powerful than you know. It's been a blessing to spend this week with you.